In today's video, not only this super cool Mazda Porter Cab, but also Selected Vision from last weekend's Stance Nation Japan event in Yamaguchi. That's right, coming at you, my man Dan, the Australian in Japan, bringing you them classic autos from across the sea, showing them to you and me, cars that would never be seen again, rusted up, tell a friend, cars that no one gives a damn, except the Wasabi Dan, and then they're seen again, and what do you know, coming at you live in another Wasabi Cars video. And can we just take a moment to appreciate the awesomeness of this tune by Dylan Benson? It absolutely brings a tear to my eye. And to think that I stopped using it because I let some people's negative comments get under my skin. What was I thinking? It's an absolute masterpiece. So to you, Dylan, arigato. G'day everyone, my name is Daniel O'Grady and albeit a minute in, welcome to another Wasabi Cars video. I do hope you're doing well and in today's video, this tropical orange 1973 Mazda Porter cab and just for a quick second I'm thinking, are they all orange? Because I did see one before, I did feature it and then I didn't share with you this one. That's a grungy old one that I saw earlier this year. Ah, those two I just showed you had the update face, but of course our feature car is the earlier one. It has the epic headlight bezels. Presumably they made the holes too big and covered it up with some frickin' spare light shades that they had because they just dominate the face of these cars. If you can avoid being the proverbial deer lost in the headlights, there are other things to be dazzled by and check out those wheels. And I'm loving that large scale lettering on the tires. I love this look. And for once in my life, I actually have wheel information. And I mean, and I don't mean real. I mean, I got real wheel information. Wow, whatever. The wheels are 10 inch Hayashi Racing Street wheels. Up front you got 5J, in the rear you got 6.5J, and of note, this car is featured on the Hayashi Racing website. That's how you know you've made it. And that is an epic set of mud flaps, and in front of the wheel, now I think these would be on like rally cars and trucks and whatnot, certainly uh, superfluous in this instance, but a cool aesthetic. Interior is funky and in a good way. I'm loving that chunky three-spoke steering wheel. That is gold. My first thought is the triple gauge cluster is a bit awkward, but it's such a small compact interior, you could easily crane your neck over and see what's going on there. Rather unfortunately, we don't get to see the engine of this car, but it is a K truck. It should have the sub 360cc engine in it. Now, some of you will notice that it has a white number plate, not a yellow number plate, and I've seen porters of this era or with either. I'd love to know why, right up to the point where I have to Google it. That's the tough bit for me. But anyway, it's got the white number plate, and if it's got the CC engine, it's 23 metric horsepower, and if it's got the AA engine out of the Mazda Shante, it'll have 30 metric horsepower. Holy market drop in video quality, Batman. <laughs> yeah, I'm using a mix of cameras when I go to car shows. It is what it is, and I should point out that I've shot, you know, hundreds of videos that I haven't uploaded yet, so there's gonna be a whole lot of no GoPro footage in those, but do stick around for that, because I show cool cars. At least I think I do. And I think with that, I'm gonna leave it there, but do seek out Wasabi Cars around the place, and do subscribe, click the bell, wherever it is applicable. And I do notice that people do watch and comment who aren't subscribed, which is fine, I, I don't care, but um, if you wanna subscribe, I secretly, would love to get a hundred thousand subscribers and get that silver play button. Yeah. Anyway, be sure to drop by next Saturday for another Wasabi Cars video and I shall see you then. Goodbye.